Hey, and welcome back. Uh, I'm really sorry that it's taken me so long to get another one of these videos out, but uh, July has been a particularly crazy month for the store, uh, and it has really kind of kept me from being able to have too much time to work on the project. But I have gotten some work done, and I figured I'd show you the little bit that has happened since the last time you were here. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, let me get right to it. This probably won't end up being too long a video. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but uh, uh, progress is happening, and let's just get to it. All right, so uh, one of the areas that I had been kind of concerned about was the uh, how I was going to do level changes. And what I decided to go with was a series of stairs. And so every area where there is a level change, I have essentially carved stairs out. I carved stairs out and uh, using the hot wire. And essentially bending it into that shape that you see there, that sort of finger shape, uh, submerging it into the foam and then pulling out and then doing that again in sort of stepped fashion. They're not pretty, but I figure when all is said and done, uh, they'll look reasonably cool. Um, so that was, that was the decision I made there. Uh, this is uh, my attempt to fix a problem that I had created by uh, um, cutting too far into this little trench. Uh, so this isn't completely done yet. That's essentially just a big gap filler. Uh, and I'll go back in with something <laughs> at some point and try to make that look a little nicer. Uh, one thing that I had been concerned about was how I was going to deal with the situation of the uh, the fact that I kind of needed to come in at the at the lower end of some of these levels um, in order to accommodate uh, my my grid lines and I did that by making these sort of craggy areas uh, with the hot wire and I kind of like how that turned out so, and I'm really interested to see how that ends up looking um, with paint on it. Uh, now the other thing I've done is, um, well these two levels here are now glued. Uh, the top two levels are not yet, but I did that uh, because I needed to finish off uh, some of the sides that came right up to the edge here and so it was necessary to glue this in and then once I had actually had everything together uh, I realized that this was getting really heavy um, the foam itself in, in individual slices is pretty light but once you start stacking up multiple layers of it it was getting heavy enough so that when I was lifting my fingers were actually kind of um, denting the uh, the foam because of how much pressure I was having to apply in order to just hold it in place. So what I decided to do was cut out a large chunk of the middle there, uh, and there's the there's the piece over there, and that actually relieved a lot of weight. That actually that little piece right there is sort of a filler that's collect correcting another problem that I created when I cut this out. <laughs> Um, but as it turns out, um, you know, this lightened it up enough that even with uh, all four pieces stacked now, it's significantly lighter than it was. Um, and even if you just hold that one piece over there, it doesn't seem on its own that heavy, but um, taking it out was definitely a relief. So, uh, what is next here? And I, I've been debating that. Uh, I actually think one of the things I need to do is uh, do some gap filling. Um, I really don't want to see 
the area where the uh, where the two halves come together uh, on any of the levels and so I'm going to probably use something to do some gap filling and there's some areas where it's worse than others and areas where I don't think it's going to matter at all um, but I may need to get a coat of paint on the whole thing before I can even see that uh, so that may be the next step uh, getting at least one coat of paint and it'll probably just be a, a dark brown uh, base mountainy color to you know really get things going all right so um, and the other things I need to do um, and I, I haven't even decided whether or not I'm going to texture the top of this the way I did my other map um, and I may not because the uh, uh, the tops are all going to be snow covered and snow would be nice and smooth so um, I may not texture this with land um, and again these are areas where um, I've, I've given it a lot of thought but until I kind of just move forward I may not I, I'm not going to know and maybe again that first coat of paint will kind of answer these questions for me where if I get the coat of paint on, paint on then I can kind of look at it and see where it is um, and, and sort of in my mind's eye kind of uh, envision where it will be at the end. Uh, I still don't have trees for this and I had originally been thinking that I might make trees but um, that's a lot of work and I want to get this done <laughs> but I also discovered on eBay uh, a seller of trees and I think they're in China um, but they're really nice looking stuff for a, for pretty reasonable prices and um, you may you know not agree with the idea of sh shopping China to get a good deal but uh, you know in this case if I can get uh, a standard that I'm looking for at a price that I can pay um, that may sort of trump any other concerns I might have because uh, this project needs to get done. Uh, but anyway, that's where I am right now. And uh, hopefully next time I will have more to show and maybe show you some actual work in progress as opposed to just talking about where I am. But that's where I am. And uh, for now, I guess that's it. And I will be talking to you later.